Hey folks, how you doing? It's Monday. Blessed, blessed Monday. July the 17th already. I'm having my one and only cup of caffeine right now, all right? Let me put some down, and if you have yours available, you do the same with me. Cheers. Ah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, like I said, it's July the uh, 17th, and as you can see just by the sky alone, look at that. We got thunderstorms coming in. It's going to be kind of a gloomy day today. All right. Highs is going to, the highs are going to be up in the 80s, and it's getting thick. It's getting humid, you know. But as I said, rain most of the day today on and off will not be a good pool day, according to what my research says. Okay. So take all that with a grain of salt. Anyway. Once again, good morning to all of you, or good afternoon, whatever the case may be. Hope you had a great weekend. Mine was uh, fairly nice. I enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, yesterday, we went uh, to the uh, uh, Chicago, Chicago uh, restaurant over there in Leesburg. I, I got my paper-thin Chicago-style pizza. Uh, Carol got her uh, uh, Chicago uh, Pola sausage, and we both had a couple, two each, Bloody Marys, and uh, that was our afternoon outing. Then we <clears throat> we come come back here, and like I said, it was a gloomy day. Uh, it was spritzing rain on and off, so we kind of hung around, you know, in our humble abode, doing not much of anything uh, of any importance. Uh, but there was a slight break in uh, the weather, and I said, hey, come on, let's get in the golf car and let's go for a ride. So we rode around the community looking at, uh, uh, you know, all the other uh, uh, houses, if you want to call them houses, in the community here to see what's blooming or, or what might be uh, uh, being put up differently. It gives us ideas on what to do for our little humble abode. And there's my buddy, Bill. Bill, there you go. Everything's looking good over there, you know. I told Bill before he left to go back to his home state. I would occasionally uh, set up uh, my good morning video in the opposite direction so he could check out, you know, his place to make sure it was all in good shape. Uh, if I go around this way where I should normally be sitting. You can see my beautiful American flag, and there is virtually no real wind right now. Okay, let me get on with it. Uh, birthdays today, Luke Bryan's birthday, 47 years young. Happy birthday, Luke. Uh, Queen Kamala, 76 years young. Happy birthday, it would have been uh, James Cagney's birthday today. It is Donald Suther Sutherland's birthday. Donald Sutherland, 88 years young. Happy birthday, Donald. It is David Hasselhoff. Uh, he's uh, 71 years young today. Um, let's see, Lucy Arnaz. It's her birthday today. She's 72 years young. Happy birthday, Lucy. It would have been Phyllis Diller's birthday. <clears throat> it also would have been Art Linkletter's birthday. Today is World Emoji Day. It's also Global Hug Your Kids Day. So uh, uh, to my children out there, uh, you know, they don't live around me, so I will just send a virtual hug. Uh, visualize it. Getting a hug from your dad, okay? I miss you guys. I really do. I hope all of you are doing well in your states and state or town or towns, whatever the case may be. Miss all of you guys. It's also National Lottery Day. And I'll tell you what, make sure you get, uh, you know, uh, the Mega Million and then the, the other lottery because they're both up there, huh? Carol's going to run out and get one today. It, 
uh, we're actually probably getting a couple because the uh, what is it? Is it the Mega Millions? That's uh, up like nine hundred million dollars. All right. We don't play a the lottery all that often, but when it starts to slowly creep on up there, you know, I'll spend a buck or two to get me a lottery ticket, nine hundred million dollars. So get out there and get a ticket today, because I believe it goes off this evening. Uh, it is also National Peach Ice Cream Day. I'm not a big peach ice cream fan, but, uh, you know, any ice cream is good. <laughs> okay, so go, go out there and get yourself a, a nice peach ice cream today. If I was going to eat a peach ice cream, I, I would probably want a, a dark chocolate syrup on the top. But then again, that's just the way I, I roll, okay? <laughs> it's uh, also National Tattoo Day. <laughs> For you people out there that are thinking about getting a tattoo or always wanted to get one, today's your day to go out there and do it. I came uh, real close to getting a tattoo a number of years ago. I um, had an artist draw it up for me, and it was a, a parrot because I was a big uh, Buffett fan, which I'm still a big Jimmy Buffett fan, and a parrot head, okay? But... Um, this artist drew it up for me, and he says, okay, what kind of parrot do you want? And I wanted a half sleeve, if you know what I mean. It would be half my arm length, okay, from the shoulder down to, uh, you know, what where you can bend your arm, if you know what I'm saying. So it was going to be a parrot like that, and he says, okay, well, give me an idea. How do you want the parrot to look? I said, you know what? Do me a favor. Make that parrot with attitude and he drew up this parrot with many many different colors in it but it also had a uh, <clears throat> excuse me some kind of a uh, if you want to say a, a straw uh, kind of like a uh, cowboy hat okay but it was tilted just a little bit and cocked down a little bit if you can visualize that and the parrot definitely had an attitude. And uh, when it was all drawn up and he gave it to me, I said, wow, that's great. So I went to the uh, the tattooist, if you want to call that person that. He said, uh, you, can I help you? I said, yeah. And I showed him my artwork. I said, uh, I want a, a tattoo and this is what I want. I want it on my right arm, you know, from the, from the shoulder blade down half of the arm he said yeah we can do that he said it's probably going to be about maybe uh five settings i said okay he goes well there's a lot of color in this pair i said all right if i gotta do that i'll do that i said about how much and now we're going back uh at least maybe 10 years ago maybe even 12 and at that point, he looked at me and said, yeah, it'll be uh, upwards of $500. And I said, ooh, I wasn't expecting that much on that. I said, well, let me think about it. So I left there and uh, ended up, yeah, it had to be 13 years ago, excuse me. Uh, ended up going down to uh, beautiful Cape May, New Jersey, <laughs> into this campground. Uh, King Nummy Trail Campground. Drove through there. We were just there for a day trip. Carol and myself. And we're riding around looking at the campers that are out for sale. Found this one camper. Uh, the sign was on the window. I went over and knocked on the door. And I, the owner of that camper was there. And uh, I said, I see you have uh, your place up for sale. And she said, yes, I do. Come on in. So we went inside. It was a nice little camper. Looked around, sat down, talked with uh, this person for a while. The camper was able to sleep six people, but I wouldn't want to be in the camper for an entire day with six people because now all of a sudden that camper, even though it'll sleep six people, it gets really, really small. 
So uh, she told me what she wanted for it. And uh, I said, okay, let me think it over. Uh, went outside, got in uh, the vehicle, left, and I made a, uh, I, I was circling around the campground, right? And um, there's a dead silence <laughs> in the, the van uh, between uh, Carol and myself. I looked at Carol and I said, you know what? I'm going to ride by and uh, make an offer. She goes, oh, okay, if that's what you want to do. So I rolled back, knocked on the door, went inside. I said, uh, I'd like to buy the place from you. Here's my offer. And it was uh, considerably lower than what she was asking. All right. I mean, all they can do is say no. Uh, ironically, her boyfriend was there. They looked at one another and she said, you know what? And she's looking at her boyfriend and, and saying this. You know what? If I don't do it now, I won't do it. She goes, I'll take that. So I said, all right, let me, uh, can I write you a check for right now, uh, a $1,000 check as a deposit, and I'll get all my monies together, and uh, we'll meet up tomorrow, whatever the case may be. And uh, I ended up buying the, the camper. Uh, we were there for about 13 years, you know, seasonal. And uh, that was my tattoo. <laughs> Instead of getting the tattoo, I got a camper. Yep. <laughs> it was a great time. A great 13 years of uh, memories there. Seasonal memories with, uh, you know, people that stay there uh, seasonally. Uh, made some great friends. Uh, just great memories. If you know what I mean, if you're a camper out there and, uh, you know, you're a seasonal camper or whatever, you know, uh, uh, camping people are different people. They're, uh, I dig them. I like them. Okay, that's enough for that story. I didn't mean to get off into it, but uh, I figured uh, it'd be an interesting story uh, as I was going. Oh, also, today, on this date, July the 17th, Back in 1955, Disneyland opened. Yep. And that's all I have right now, my friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Let me put down some more coffee. If you did enjoy it, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Uh, if you're new to watching my videos, um, I do them a, a couple of four, five, six times a week, you know, um, and it's about this old guy that talks about virtually nothing of any real importance, you know, I don't get into the politics and the news, uh, where we have enough negativity out there, I just try to talk about other things that come into my mind, it's usually on, on the, off the cuff, if you want to say that, you know, nothing is scripted, it's whatever just comes into my head, as I'm talking like I am now, okay? Again, my name is Ralph Warzy, all right? Uh, you can follow me on Facebook. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'd probably be the best way. Uh, that way you'll be nudged every time I make a good morning video. I call it a good morning video. Sometimes it doesn't get out there until the afternoon, okay? All right, you guys take care. Um, be kind to one another, love your family and kids because we are not guaranteed tomorrow. Don't forget that. And don't sweat the small stuff. You know, life is too short. Good Lord willing, I'll either make a video tomorrow or at least I'll post something on my Facebook. You take care now. Going to go out on three. Have a great day. God bless all of you. One, two, three. Big smile. Peace.